Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm gonna be doing a video I'm very excited to do because this is something I always wish that I had as a first year teacher. I think it's very helpful for first year teachers to know kind of what they need for their classroom and not necessarily what they need, but things that people recommend that they use all the time in their classrooms or that have made a difference that they use every single day. So today I'm making a video of my kindergarten classroom essentials. And this is not a video of me just showing markers and erasers and dry erase markers. This is kind of like things I didn't necessarily know for sure about or things that I kind of picked up throughout this year so far or things that have just helped me stay organized, things that have helped my kiddos stay organized and help their learning. So that is what this video is gonna be about. It's gonna be kind of a quick snappy video, but I'm really excited to do it because I think for anyone else out there that is a teacher, this will be helpful to you and I hope you like it. Always remember, make sure you comment if you have any video ideas. Let's get started on my kindergarten classroom essentials. Now this video is not in a specific order or anything. This is just kind of random. But the first thing that is a kindergarten classroom essential to me is binders. On my behalf, as a teacher, binders help me keep organized with literally everything. And I'm gonna show you some examples of what I use it for. One of the ways I use binders for, or I use like a bigger one that I keep my student data or like my assessments and without showing you the names I just keep the tabs and I write their numbers on them and then inside of it I will put for example running records so many different kinds of just purely assessments writing letters writing numbers I'm gonna cross off names like all different kinds of assessments it doesn't honestly get too full like I'm pretty much way over halfway through the year and there's still a lot of room left so i love this this definitely keeps me organized and it's really easy to just quick flip in find their number update it or see where i need to pick up on so that's what i use kind of with like the thicker binder for my literacy centers i use kind of the thinner binder i don't know if this is one inch or oh it is a one inch and what i kind of do is i write literacy for the binder center and then on the other side there's math but i use the plastic sleeves I do need to update it because I need to make the skills harder, but they'll use an expo marker and just kind of do the activities in here for, again, their literacy center. There's different th things such as beginning sounds, ending sounds, matching upper and lowercase, more beginning sounds, roll and writes, different things like that. And then again, over on the math side, is just some number writing, addition, different things like this. But I am going to update it for March and spring. So that is another way I use a thin binder. And another way I use it in my room is this is how I organize my write the room like master copies. So I'm gonna go to my spring tab. I always start with the write the room, like the writing one. And then I have the pictures that follow. So that way when I need to go make my copies, I just grab them and then put them right back. And I have like a million of them. They're adorable. I love my write the rooms. And these are not the ones that have different skills. This is just writing and vocabulary, write the rooms. That is why I love binders. Again, I use them for absolutely everything. I have more on my desk. I use them for my lesson plans every day. Actually, let me get those. This is a one and a half inch binder. And this is like my planner. So when I open it, this is where I keep my lesson plans. So I just have how I take my notes on my lesson plans of what I'm gonna do. And then I usually keep up to two or three weeks on here. So I always have this flipped open like this on my desk. My next kindergarten classroom essential has to be pocket charts. And I'm not talking about the big one, I'm talking about the miniature pocket charts. And I use these for small group and I'll just slide different things in here if I'm working on building sentences using like sentence strips, so many different things. And I also, when I teach word families, large group, I like to use my pocket chart. I'll put a big picture of the word family and then the little mini pictures that go in that word family. It's double-sided. And I will show you an example of what I use the miniature pocket chart for. This is like their favorite game. We call it Mr. Crayon, but I put all the different crayon boxes in the pocket chart. I'm just gonna do this for example. And I'll go out of the room and I will hide Mr. Cran behind a crayon box. 
And what they'll have to do is when it's their turn, they'll have to say the letter that they want to check behind, tell me what sound it makes, and then I will pull it up. And if they find Mr. Cram, then they get to hide Mr. Cram. So that's just kind of an example of how I use the small pocket chart. There's a million and one ways to use it, but I love this. This was quick, sweet, and easy to talk about, but they're not too expensive. And yeah, I love this. My next kindergarten classroom essential has to be the Sterilite bins. I mm, can't get over how much I love these bins that have the little clampy things. They're all everywhere around my room. It's how I organize my science units, my math units, some of my writing center or literacy centers, everything. So here's an example of how I organize um, my math centers. So I have them for each unit. So when I open it up, I have all the laminated centers in here that I can just pull up. So that is one way that I use my bins for. And then I have them all in my big cabinet back there. Another way that I use them, again, is for literacy centers. So this goes along with my write the room. I haven't hung this one up yet, but you'll kind of see. I'll have my pictures hanging around the room. I obviously need to prep these for St. Patrick's Day. And then if they are in the write the room group, they'll come in here and this is where I keep their worksheets for the matching week. So it matches the pictures and so then they'll come over to the bin they'll get their worksheet they'll get a pencil and a clipboard and then they'll do the write the room the write the room papers will always be in here for them so it's very nice for them and nice for me so those are some ways that i use these sterilite bins to organize my stuff and let me see if i know the size that's this one i love these so much and they make my classroom so much more organized the next kindergarten classroom essential that i definitely need to use it every single day are these plastic sleeves that you can put papers in and now the reason that i use them every single day is because instead of having to use like a dry erase board or waste a bunch of worksheets or things that you need to like use every single day you put the paper inside the plastic sleeve so that way they can just write on it they can erase it and i use these for large group when we do our literacy time and our phonics and then I also use it in small group for certain things. And I'll just show you like a quick example. I can have this worksheet, building it, writing it, CVC words. I just slide it in here. And then they can use the dry erase marker and just write it on here and wipe it off. And if you want to keep it in for a couple days or whatever. So I have a bunch of these in my guided reading cart, which I'm about to talk about next. And then also every kid has one of these in their table bins because again, as I said, we use them every day for what we call our routine. So that's just letter sounds, writing, all that different kind of stuff. Again, you can get these pretty cheap. You can get them on Amazon. These I think are an actual staple. You need these and you need a bunch of them. The one downfall is if you have kids, if you buy kind of like a little bit of cheaper ones or if your kids kind of maybe like abuse them a little bit, like not so gentle or mindful of how they're using them, they can kind of rip or if they're not cleaning them off right away with the dry erase marker and the dry eraser, it can kind of be harder for them to get cleaned off. But other than that, if you take good care of them, they last a really long time and I love them. Again, it is March right now and I, only had to throw away two of them so these are my plastic sleeves for my papers the next thing that i have that i would consider a kindergarten classroom essential for organization especially is this big boy it is called a large photo and craft keeper i got mine from michael's no mine are not all filled up but they've been slowly filling up and i just haven't had the time but they're very convenient and i will show you what i use them for you have all these different little containers and you just pull them out inside of them i keep the laminated cards for my write the room so at the beginning of the year here was my and they're the ones that actually hang up around the room not the papers here's the ones that was just for like the alphabet here i have colors around us for march i don't have this one labeled but it's laminated this one will be the write the room for CVC words and finding middle sounds. So they're just the little Easter bunnies. But the reason I like to keep them in here is they're perfect size. I always know where they are. You can also use these as task cards, task card holders if you want to store your different kinds of task cards if you may have them like for math, little task cards you can put in them. But I like to keep them for right in the room. There's a bunch of different ones available. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's 16. 
so it's perfect it's not the cheapest thing ever but if you do find it when michael's has a sale it really isn't that bad i do think it's just nicer instead of having it laid around the room or somewhere it's just so nice to know where everything is stored especially with something like right the room which the materials are kind of small and there's different components to them i definitely think having something like this is necessary or if you want to do like task cards or whatever small group activities with little manipulatives you can always keep this in your guided reading card the next thing i have i had to move my camera that are essential to a kindergarten classroom are book bins 100 percent, you need book bins i have one for every single one of my students you can see back there it's where they keep them all this book bin is kind of the hub for all of their things they keep their supply box in here they keep their smaller books for when they go book shopping and for read to themselves they keep our sel curriculum in there their play-doh my positive behavior reinforcement system which is their disney dollars and it just keeps it all in a nice organized container i love it sitting by my window and they all have their numbers on it this is just amazing to keep all their stuff i have desks for my kids and i don't really like them keeping all their materials in their desk because it does get messy really quickly and i just like when it's all in the same area everyone's is the same that might be my OCD coming through, but who knows? Well, I love these. You can use them for a million different things. Not only do I use these for students' personal bins, but I also use it for their table bins. So I have table one, two, three, four, and five. That's where they keep their plastic sleeves, their dry erase markers, and their codes, their little QR codes to get on one of the online resources we use. But again, these are so easy. A downfall of these is they are not cheap. They are pretty expensive, especially if you need a lot. I got lucky that one of the kindergarten teachers here had some for me. But I do think they are kind of a staple and maybe if you only need five for your groups, that'd be totally fine. It's not necessary to get them for each kid. But for me, this is essential for organization and for the kids practice to be organized and it just keeps things neat and clean. So these bins are definitely in my must haves. The last thing and final thing that is a kindergarten classroom must have is a guided reading card. And I will flip my camera around and show you what it looks like. So my guided reading card is the three-tiered one. And in my top drawer, I just keep things that I need handy to me. So I have three pointers. I keep our chapter book that we are reading as a class we read one chapter a day i have my stamps i literally use stamps for everything it gets them motivated to do their work makes them excited to finish their work and to take ownership of what they did then i have just kind of things i need at a quick kind of when i'm doing small groups so some expo markers highlighters then going down i have kind of some more things that i need for a small group in my little kind of small group thing i'm sorry about the lighting holy moly I keep things like I have some vowel strips. I have little activities. I have my Mr. Cran game that I was talking about. I have this sight word bean bag game. So there's, I keep everything in Ziploc bags. That's just my thing. I have the bean bags and then the mats. So what they do, and it has sight words in it. I lay the mats out. There's a bunch of different ones. I got them at Target. You lay the mats on the ground and they take the bean bags, they throw it and whatever mat they land on, they have to say that sight word. So any kind of little thing like this, I keep in that middle section. Anything that's kind of laminated that they need dry erase markers to complete, things like that. And then I have some backup kind of worksheets that I can make copies of before I have my small group. So I have activities for CBC words, activities for beginning sounds, activities for vowels and activities for final sounds that's kind of our main goal when we are in kindergarten so that's kind of my middle drawer all these different ziploc bags of quick easy activities and then in my final drawer i keep this bucket and i have these five dry erase paddles that i use in small group to play games on whether that's writing sight words writing letters they love it i got these at the dollar store and they are amazing and you can turn it into pretend like it's a game show and they love it i also keep my dry erase markers and some colorful dry erasers and then over here is where i keep some guided reading books they're kind of like these little plastic folder things so i just keep quick on the hand so like, for example, I have level Bs all together, level As, things like that. 
And then in some of them, I actually have activities to do as well with it. They're just very quick and easy for me to grab what level I think a kid needs to be reading or if I need to challenge them to read a level higher or take a step back and go lower. The guide reading card has everything that I need and I got it from Michaels and it's not too expensive for what it's worth. It's really easy to put together as well. Okay, everyone, thank you so much for watching my video. I definitely wanted to share some kindergarten classroom must-haves that I think are essential for any kindergarten classroom or any first, second preschool class. Again, this is not just stuff that's gonna benefit the kids, but it's also gonna benefit your organizational skills. These are things that I think are stable to me that have helped me, I think, be the best teacher I can be. And yeah, comment down below if you have any video requests, recommendations, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching if you decided to stick around and watch. And if not, I will see you next time. Bye.